What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and guys in this video I'm gonna show you that how easily you can install pfSense firewall one of the best open source free firewall into your virtual box as a virtual machine. So without talking too much let's get started. So first of all what you need to do you need to download the virtual box software from the Google. So search here virtual box then go to this website virtualbox.org and from here you can easily download and install VirtualBox on your computer. I had already downloaded and installed it on my computer and running couple of virtual machines. Then you need to take another tab and search for pfSense. Then go to this first website pfSense.org. Then click on download. Now from here click on architecture and select AMD 64 bit. Then click on installer and select DVD image ISO installer then click on download and it will start downloading the pfSense ISO file on your computer I had already downloaded it let me show you here in my desktop pfSense folder you can see I got two files whenever you will download this pfSense you will get that ISO file with .gz extension this is a zip file so you have to extract it with 7-zip or you can use WinRAR and after extracting it, you will get the ISO file. Now let me show you how to install it on your virtual box. So first of all, open up virtual box. Then click on new. Now here you can name it whatever you want. I am going to name it PF firewall. Then from the type, select BSD. And for the version, select 64 bit. Then hit next. 1 GB RAM is good enough for this PFSense firewall. So I'm gonna keep it as it is. Then click on next. Then make sure to create a virtual hard disk now and click on create. And select this virtual disk image. Then click on next. Here you can keep it dynamic allocated or fixed size. It depends on you. Then click on next. Now here you need to give a disk size, then click on create. Ok, now our virtual machine is created. Now the important part. For this virtual machine, you need to add two network adapter. So click on settings, then go to network. And for this adapter one, I am gonna use it as a one adapter or one connection. So I am gonna keep it here, bridge adapter. Then I'll go to adapter 2, enable the adapter and I will select here internal network. This is my LAN connection or LAN adapter. So adapter 1 is for one connection and adapter 2 is for LAN connection. Then I'll click on OK. Now after that click on start and it will start the PFSense virtual machine. Then from here click on this icon, click on add and select your pfSense ISO file then click on open now click on choose and start and it will start the pfSense from the ISO file it gonna take some time for boot up so you have to wait then after some time you will get this copyright and distribution notice you have to accept it so press enter on your keyboard and in this screen you will get three options install pfSense Rescue shell and recover config.xml. For installation, select the install and hit enter on your keyboard. And for the key map selection, you can go with the continue with default key map. And for the partitioning, I will suggest you to use auto UFS guided disk setup using BIOS boot method. Then hit enter and it will start installing the pfSense on your virtual machine. It's gonna take some time, so you have to wait again. It depends on your PC speed. Okay. Now the installation has been finished. Make sure to select no, then hit enter, then click on reboot. Then make sure to go to device, optical drive and remove disk from virtual drive and click on force unmount. If you get any type of error here, then just simply power off this virtual machine and power on it again. For the first time configuration, it will automatically set up all the network interface and get an IP address. Okay guys, so now the boot up is completed. 
and here you will get this type of screen. If you focus on the top, you will see here we have two network adapter. One is for one and second one is for LAN. You can see here I got a bridge IP address from my Wi-Fi router and to access this PFSense web configurator or web UI, you get this LAN IP address. From this page, you can do the basic configuration of your PFSense firewall. Here you can see you can assign interface, set IP address to interface, reset, PHP shell, update, restore and other basic stuff. Now let me show you how to access the web UI configurator of this PFSense firewall. And as I set it as an internal network, so I am going to open up another virtual machine on my virtual box. Here I am going to use this Windows 10 virtual machine because I keep the network interface same in internal network of this virtual machine. So I am going to click on start to power on this virtual machine too. Ok. Now on the second virtual machine, you have to open up a browser and now again if I go back to PFSense firewall machine, here you can see a LAN IP address which is 192.168.1.1/24. So again go back to browser and type here 192.168.1.1 then hit enter and you will get a connection error. Click on advance and click on continue to 192.168.1.1 and save. And you will get this firewall login page. The default login of this pfSense firewall is the username is admin and the password is pfSense. Then click on sign in and you will get the first setup wizard. Click on next, then again next, and here you can give a host name for your firewall. I am going to create here pfSense firewall, and you can set up your primary and secondary DNS. I am going to go with Google DNS, then click on next, and now from here you can select your time zone. I am going to keep it at it is, then click on next. And here you will get a WAN configurator. If your ISP provide you a static IP address, you can select the static PPPoE or PPTP, whatever your ISP give you. I am going to keep here DHCP. Here you will get all the options to configuration. Then click on next. Now here you need to set up your LAN IP address. You can keep it at it is or you can change it. Then click on next. And finally you have to set up a admin password for your pfSense. Let me set it for myself. Then click on next. Then click on reload. And your pfSense web UI will reload. Like this. Now click on finish. And here guys, we have successfully installed pfSense firewall in our virtual machine. Now from here, you can get the extension or available widget to monitor your firewall. Let's say you want to see the firewall logs. So click here, firewall logs and you will get the firewall logs. Like this from here, you can add different type of widget on your firewall. Like gateway, OpenVPN and many more. Services or traffic graphs. Here it is. Now you can easily drag and drop all the widget on your firewall dashboard. So guys, like this, you can easily set up PFSense firewall as a virtual machine on your computer. That's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil, you are watching Tech Tutorial and I am signing out.